All right. Well, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Uh, we did not qualify because I just this week's going to be bad. So qualifying or not, I decided just file the uh, protest from the last race. Not sure if I will even uh, post it. I might go edit some things out because I got sort of annoyed. But uh, yeah. Fun week of Martinsville and Daytona. Uh, I think tour mods are at Phoenix, the new Phoenix with the uh, open dog leg. And um, well, I don't know where else everything else could be to be bad. I'm going to adjust the volume just a little bit because it looks like for some reason today I am clipping. Hopefully that doesn't completely screw things up. You don't get any extra cost for this race. But yeah, the worst thing that you can do in ARCA at a plate track is start in the back. It's fine when you go to class C or higher because you got yellow flags. But in ARCA, if you start in the back, all you're doing is you might be able to miss the wreck, but you have no shot of winning. Um, so, not a smart thing to do, but that's what we're doing. Uh, Gavin and Scott are in here. I didn't look to see who else is. Looks like uh, Scott put it in seventh, and Gavin put it in tenth. So we'll see how everything works out here. I haven't done a lap yet. Another reason we're starting back here. But it's Daytona in the Arca car. I've done this multiple times. Don't bump draft. And uh, hope you get through the wreck. But we'll see if I can drop my safety rating far enough that I can't join the league race on Friday at Martinsville. Although that's going to be the only good race this week. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I would assume that we could get a good race off there, but 36 okay, trucks going green. is going to just be a lot for online racing. But we've had good NIS races there. So, you never know. Green, green, green. Thought they were checking up, and then they weren't. We are starting even further back than at the back. Here, clear down low. I look at my F3 to make sure. I don't trust the spotter when he just doesn't say anything. How long till they wreck? Do we go to the high side? I don't know what to do here. I've put myself in a bad spot, but... Okay. Well, the guy's going to bounce up in front of us, and then the guy on our inside is going to drift all the way up the track and nearly wreck us. Very quick. This is Arca, right? Yeah, I got my Arca King scheme. I do not remember hitting 200 with this car here. That's... How fast are we going to be going to Gen 4? I know it's still late, but it should go a little quicker. Alright, 
Gavin's on the high side. Five cars up. There's nowhere for us to go. This type of racing is stupid. Side line is going to get backed up. I thought they were going to get backed up a little bit as the 14 was going to go down in front of the 11. But then we're just going to start to slowly move up and down depending on what's going on. Can't get close to the 17 though. 17 and the 19 being side by side just spells disaster what they're doing. Just back off here. These three are going to wreck. Gavin's going to wreck. That was a big white moment there. What is the 11 doing? He's going down below the yellow line. I fully expect this to get dead last in this. We would be better off just dropping away from the pack and just letting the wreck happen a lap ahead of us. I feel this thing's got more power than it ever has on some late tracks. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Oh my god. Was he avoiding the wall or did he just cut that extremely close there? Looks like Scott's going three wide up there. Looking. Alright, we need to catch back up. 19 dropped off quite a bit there from when the 14 or whatever. 17 pulled down in front of him. We'll be able to draft up easy. That Home Depot car is scaring me as well. He just randomly darts to the left. Seemingly no reason. Seems maybe everyone's doing that off the corner for some reason. Does it do weird things when you go to hold the low line? Top line has gotten around and in front of the 
maybe. Or maybe that was just the leader moving and working both lanes. But, you know, we're still moving up, so. Yeah, it's 11. Kind of darts one way and the other. Big check up to the bottom line again. I feel like we need to go around the 11, but that's going to require me to go three wide. I don't know if we uh, start making people angry now. Bottom line's rolling now. I should have hopped down there when we had the clear. Kind of watch the front again and uh, get an idea of it. We're halfway. We got time. Oh, 11's going three wide. We're nowhere near to be able to get there. And he started left and right how many times? So. It worked out for him so far. Can he hold it off the corner? Protect the middle so we don't get shuffled up high. Oh, there goes the 11. He nearly wrecked it. Checked up here. Still got the 11 three wide. Feel like we're gonna get yeah, we're going with that call now. said I'd do it the next time we got it. And top line's going to get slowed down here. I wanted to hop up to the middle. Put Jordan and Gavin three wide. We'll wait here for a second. Big checkup. Nowhere to go. Trying to figure out what's around me. How close. I about went for that middle line as he was going for that middle line and could have been bad. People changing lanes for the middle lane on the interstate. No, oh, we're pushing up. Okay, I can see what the little wobble to the left is. It's like it falls onto the left rear. Just be patient. Bottom side's where we want to be for now. Top side's going to check up hard in a second. There's just a big bobble. Got five to go. Going backwards. Gordon's thinking about middle now. Alright. Top's checking up. They just ran into each other. Okay. On our outside's going to lose a bit of ground. Gordon's going up high. We will take the spot. Even though I'd like to go middle. Wait a second. And 
wanted to squeeze up, but middle thing's not there anyways. Gavin's going middle. I feel like I can't do anything here, but I also feel like the top side's getting checked up massively when there's a slight issue. Scott's falling back. moved up one row it looks like he got back down in line so I did not mean to go up that high wants to go middle. There's just not room. And we're running out of laps. Oh, 15. Don't hit the apron. Gavin's gotten down low. You don't want to be down here, Gavin. It feels like you can't do anything, even though you can't do anything anywhere. Jordan links out. Is he going to blink back in at? Well, he just disappeared, apparently. Go. Take a run. I'm going to put Scott three wide. I apologize, Scott. I can't go to the top. I'm terrible up there. I will run into the wall. Scott looks like he's fairly good up there. But now it's time to wreck. So, we just need Gavin to uh, put his nose in the middle of some people. But yeah, now everyone scrunches up. Someone's going to make contact with a rear bumper, and then it all goes away. But we can get a top 10 out of this, that'd be pretty amazing. There's the bump. Got nowhere to go. Please don't run into me. Oh, now we're getting turned. Luckily at the line. 14th. Whole lot of nothing. Should have been aggressive earlier. I don't know what the hell the 22 was doing. Did he get hit there? He just dives down, gets into the back of us. He doesn't even get hit, he just runs straight into the back of us. I don't know what he was doing. He just went to block that and ran into us and turned us into the 15, but we get the same position we were going to get, so... Didn't matter. We might have beat the 15 if we didn't get hit there, but we still, like, 13th or 14th. Doesn't matter. Just dumb racing. Anyone wreck out early? Nope, Jordan just falling out. What'd you do to your internet, Jordan? 
Well, I guess we just have a nice quick video here. Look at the results. And we lost and we lost again. So uh, that is going to be the theme. Although we didn't quite get it even this time. Negative 6 and negative 10. 14th. Um, started, what, 18th? We moved up four spots after all that. But, oh well, not a lot you can do from the front or the back. But I guess the four car moved up from 13th to 4th. The 11 kept it together and uh, got up to 8th from 17th. So we just, we needed to be more aggressive. But uh, I didn't want to be that guy. And, uh, yeah, then it all just kind of packed up there. I needed to just believe that Jordan was gone when he disappeared and hop up there. But I don't even think we had room then. It's too risky. Never know if he's going to blink back in. And then we just explode the whole back half of the field. But I guess it's a good race. We got close to beating Gavin. He... He started ahead of us and lost one spot, so I guess we did better than him, right? All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that, even if I didn't. Thanks for watching.